So I just want to talk a little bit about uh, custom fields and what you can do with them. So I'm going to go ahead and create a custom field here by going to settings and then customize fields. So I want to create a custom field for deals. And right now I want to select single option because I want to give deals a possibility to uh, select in which group uh, they are. So I'm going to give uh, this custom field a couple of values. So they can be any one of those values. They can be class A, B, C, D, or E. So just one option. Alright, so after you've done that, um, you can specify if this custom field will be important or not, meaning that uh, will it be shown in the details view, so that's here. If you go into a deal, will that be shown right away? In this case it is because I marked it as important. So you can already, you know, specify this deal is class A. Um, for further um, editing of all your deals, I can just go into all my deals and start editing, like uh, for, for example, from here to here, I want I want them to be class B, for example. So I can do it this way. Update. Apart from that, I can also include that field here. If you just type here class, you can include it as a as a column, so you can see it. And there it is. So you can also click here. And specify if you want it to be C or anything else. Apart from that, you can just keep on going and keep on editing. So, yeah, once you've you know done a couple. You can let me just do another one. Another A. Then you can filter by those uh, custom fields. So I'm just going to create a, a filter here. And uh, deal class is. For example, I think I gave B to a lot of deals. So it's only going to show me those deals that are class B. You can also move around this column so you can put it as the first one. Then you'll be able to see all the deals that are class B. Or you can also just uh, create four or five filters. Like one would be for class B. Another one would be for class C, so you just save them as they are, class C, and so on. So then you can move around between those filters. So class B, class C, and well, you keep on going from there. I think you get the idea from now, right?